Alright folks, so we've left just before the sunrise this morning and come across a herd of buffalo, sort of just opposite our main camp. Having buffalo around is always exciting because the lions follow very soon afterward. We're out on the eastern bank of the Sand River, just to the south of Mala Mala Main Camp. These buffalo teams came down to drink opposite our camp last night, moved off a little bit and then settled down for the rest of the evening. And they seem to be just in the process of waking up now, perhaps getting ready to move around and feed. What they normally do is loop to and from the river as buffalo need to drink every day. Presumably a lot of the water holes away from the river are starting to dry up so buffalo coming to drink at the river close to camp will become more and more of a, a feature in our episodes coming up. towards the open area from the south that's just ran into the Kipin River but we can't see it, it hasn't been merged yet if you want to uh, okay cool, thanks man morning everyone we've been out this morning doing some APU patrols um, and we've come across this beautiful female leopard. Uh, there's also a couple of hyenas in the area and she does look pretty well fed. So I wonder if she might not have a kill in this area and she's just resting. This is the Imsehweni female. Um, her sons have featured quite prominently in this series. Um, but this is the first time we've actually seen her. She's extremely recognizable. She's got only one eye as you can see. Um, an incredible cat. The fact that she raised two uh, sons to adulthood 
uh, with cope while coping with this uh, disability, uh, as well as keeping herself, you know, well fed. Just an incredible, incredible cat. So that's why royalty would live longer than the normal people. Hmm. They have silver in their eye. Alright, so it's just a bit of chaos here because there's a leopard up this tree that's terrifying every monkey in it. So this is a young female leopard, we're not entirely sure which one it is. The spot pattern seems to be a 3-3 spot pattern. It could very well be the same leopard we saw with the occipiter male the other day. Um, now that we can see a little bit better, we might get some identification on her and check with our neighbours if they know this leopard at all. Uh, just from how relaxed she is with the vehicles, we can only assume she grew up on one of the reserves.
This is the island female's territory. Uh, even well, even though she didn't really use it. Just managed to see a tail flicking around in the grass there. There's a head popping out. So the river here is fairly wide. Not sure if she'll be able to get across it. She could also be looking for animals to hunt in these reeds, like little bushback and some of the water birds. And then we get another large rodent called a cane rat. Not too many of them are around, but where she is is a type of place that you would find them. All better. I'm not sure if she's seen something or not, but she's pretty much walked out of the island female's territory and is now in the territory of the Incaveni female. It's quite possible this is a young leopard we know as the Plock Rock female, who is actually the daughter of the Incaveni female. We can confirm that once we're back in camp, perhaps. Folks are growling, you can hear in the background is Robin's stomach. She hasn't eaten in about uh, three days, judging by the sounds. This afternoon, Liam and I have found ourselves in a vehicle together. And just outside of camp, we had to stop for a bull elephant in our path. And we could hear some Impala's alarm calling quite a ways off. So we made our way up to Piccadilly Pans, which is a pretty productive area. And we found the herd of Impala that were grouped quite close together. And that can be indicative of a sign that a predator's been in the area, namely a leopard, uh, where the animals will group together. Normally they'll all alarm call at the leopard, and generally what the leopard will do is if it's been seen, will move away as quickly as possible. But unfortunately for the impala, one of them didn't make it out alive. So what we actually did, because we didn't see the leopard, we we're going to just look around the area a little bit more, and... Because they weren't alarm calling, we couldn't really get a distance or a direction where the leopard was. So we're just going to look at the sort of the bush line next to the pans, and that's when we found or saw the Piccadilly female, and she was dragging one of the impalas towards a shady spot. <laughs> 